everyone, welcome back to another Pro Guides Wild Rift video. I'm Tia, and today we'll be talking about Wild Rift's future skins and events. We took a look at League's most popular skin lines and picked out the ones that we want to see in Wild Rift. So let's take a look. When picking these 10 skin lines, we pick them based on design, lore, and potential for events. It's also important to think about what champions have these skins, meaning we might need to wait a bit until more champions are released to see more skin lines. With our list, we tried our best to come up with the nicest looking skins that bring good lore and potential for events. Before we get into what kind of skins we want to see from League, our question of the day is, what kind of skins outside of League do you want to see in the game? Ah? Let us know what you're thinking down in the comments below. Okay, so the first set of skins that needs to be added to Wild Rift is the Project skin line. They are dope. These are some of the nicest looking skins in the game with a sleek cybernetic feel to them. There's a lot of champions with project skins like Ash, Fiora, Jin, and Zed, giving Riot a lot of options for what they want to bring into the game. More importantly, the project skin line has an interesting story to go along with it. Master Yi was reborn into a new body, but what's going on outside doesn't make a lot of sense. There's good cyborgs, bad ones, and some that have no idea what's going on. But the story doesn't end there for the project story. New robots and cyborgs were made to fight against each other, and the world has a lot more to offer if you're interested in reading about it. Plus, Project had a pretty cool event that came out with the first set of skins. This mode featured a small group of players fighting over neutral monsters and against themselves. It probably won't come very soon, but there's potential for fast game modes to come into Wild Rift. Moving on to our next skin line, Elderwood brings a beautiful design that hasn't really been done yet in Wild Rift. There aren't too many nature-themed skins, and none of them match the bright colors that the Elderwood line brings. I'd love to see an Elderwood champion or two join Wild Rift. Since we're already getting Star Guardian skins, there's a big chance that Zaya and Rakan will be introduced looking like their butterfly and moth costumes. Looking at the possibility of an event, the Elderwood skin line would be a good choice for introducing Nexus Splits to Wild Rift, since both match the forest theme well. If you aren't familiar with Nexus Splits, it's an extremely fast-paced game mode where you play on a smaller version of the Rift. Riot recently designed the map to fit an Ionian theme, and that map fits great with the magical elements of Elderwood. Even if the Elderwood skin line doesn't make it to Wild Rift, the Coven counterpart would bring some darker themed skins to some of the champions in the game. The Coven skins are part of the same universe as Elderwood, where a tortured force fights with and against the witches that made the world turn the way it did. We already have Coven Camille in the game, so we should look out for some of the other champions to arrive, like Morgana, Zyra, Lissandra, and LeBlanc. If we had to guess, the release of Leona and Diana might be tied in with some sort of Coven event. Leona's Solar and Lunar Eclipse skins are the start of this universe, and it would be cool to see a brand new event inspired by this skin line. It would also be the perfect time to introduce the other Coven champions, kind of like how the Yordle event centered around Yordles. We've talked about a lot of newer skin lines, so let's take a look at some skins that started out earlier in the League past. The Blood Moon skin line started in 2017, but has had tons of additions. When they were first released, the community marked their splash arts as a big shift in quality for splash arts. Don't take my word for it, take a look at the splash arts for Diana and Jin and tell me that they don't look good. It's crazy how many wacky events Riot had in the past with League, and the Blood Moon event took a whole new spin on the Assassin meta. In this game mode, you can only pick from a handful of assassins in the game, like Talon and Zed, and have to constantly fight to win the game. It was a literal bloodbath, kind of like a ritual for the Blood Moon. We don't think Riot will bring the game mode out again, but they might bring in some assassins to release with the skin line. If you like talking about skins and events, you should take a look at our Wild Rift Discord. There's always people looking for discussion about the game, and you might even find a new group to play games with. You'll also be the first person to hear about exclusive giveaways and promotions. If you're interested, you can join using the link in the description. 
Okay, so the next skin line is kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy meets League of Legends. Odyssey skins focus on a group of intergalactic space pirates, including Jinx, Ziggs, Malphite, Yasuo, and Sona, who are just living their lives out in space. They're also being hunted by Kane, an evil space guy who wants to destroy their team. It's a lighthearted skin line with a lot of extra skins released in 2020, which makes it a good candidate for coming to Wild Rift. When Kane is eventually released into Wild Rift, I'd be surprised if we didn't see him come with his legendary skin in League. Odyssey would be a good opportunity to have some sort of space-themed event, like Raya did in the past for League. This PvE game mode brought a pretty interesting twist to the game, letting you and four other players queue up for different missions that all involve surviving against aliens. There was a lot of replayability from customization options to exclusive rewards. I feel like the shorter length of Wild Rift matches would make some sort of tower defense alien game mode a huge hit. One thing's for sure, and maybe it's a hot take, but if Riot ever plans to do a PvE game mode, it'll probably be Star Guardian or Odyssey themed. What do you guys think? Moving away from some of the background heavy skins, I'd also like to see more of the Snow Day skins in Wild Rift. I feel like we're missing out on a lot of holiday skins and Wild Rift will probably release their own unique skins along with the old holiday skins during 2021. A lot of the holiday skins, especially the Christmas ones, comes with updated models and particle effects, which means they look extra good inside the Wild Rift engine. Riot's done a great job at rebuilding some of the oldest skins in the game, making them look brand new and better than ever. When I say there's a lot of winter skins, I mean it. The holidays always have new themes, so that means we've got snow day skins, winter wonder skins, Santa skins, you name it. All we need is one good Christmas event to unload all the snowy skins into our game. I think the most anticipated skins are always the skins that are given to the winners of the World Championship and League. We know that they're coming every year, but we have no idea who's going to win. We don't even know what champion everyone will pick if they do win. There's a huge legacy of esport-related skins in League, and I wonder if Riot plans to bring them over to Wild Rift. If they treat these skins like they're treating the ranked reward skins, we'll probably have a totally new and exclusive esports skin line that's independent from League of Legends. After all, Wild Rift will surely have a solid esports scene once it's officially released, and we'll want to build new stories with our skins instead of retell old ones. Plus, I'm sure Faker isn't as great at Wild Rift compared to some of the players out there right now, but I'm sure if he practiced, he would do just fine. All hail Hide on Bush. If we do end up getting some of the older esports skins in the game, it might be cool to do a best of world skin lineup. This way, we could have one or two representatives from each team show up without needing to bring over the 50 skins in League. Once Riot decides they've added enough of the champions into the game, I'm almost positive that Battle Academia will be an event and skin line in the future. If I had to bet on one skin line actually showing up in Wild Rift, it's this one. These skins are some of the highest selling skins in the game, and they're up there with Star Guardian and KDA. Guess what two skin lines are confirmed in Wild Rift? Star Guardian and KDA. And there's good reason for the Battle Academia theme to come to Wild Rift. Ezreal, Lux, and Graves are very popular in Wild Rift, and Katarina is confirmed to be joining us this year. It would be the perfect time to bring in another set of popular skins, so keep an eye out. Speaking of popular events, Riot's newest set of skins, the Ruin skin line, is probably going to come to Wild Rift whenever the Ruination event starts here. I wonder if it'll be as detailed as the League event, since Riot confirmed that the Ruination is what will drive the story and champion releases for the rest of this year. My bet is that we'll get the Ruin skins as an added bonus and they won't be that big of a deal once they arrive. The Ruination event is a big deal, but it would be weird to try and keep League and Wild Rift on the exact same schedule for lore and champion releases. We know that both games have a separate schedule, so don't be surprised if we don't see any of our possessed friends for a while. Last but not least, how could you forget about the pool party skins? These summer skins really splash some life into the rift, and I like the warmth because right now LA has been freezing. They bring some alternative looks to the champions off the rift, showing off different outfits to fight the heat. Like the holiday skins, these have been around for a really long time, and there's a lot of options for these, like Pool Party Caitlyn, Syndra, Lulu, Draven, and Mundo. There's 19 skins in total, so I bet that we'll see some of them eventually. 
Now that we've talked about our 10 most wanted skin lines, let's talk about some honorable mentions. The Riot skin line is pretty cool, and it's fun to celebrate the anniversary of the game and other big events with these skins. The sad part is that the themes are all over the place. You've got some soccer skins, some police officer skins, and a random Riot Girl Tristana skin. I don't know where they'd start with these old appearances, and it's hard to actually make them look unique in-game. Hopefully, we'll get to see some different skins in the Riot skin line, but maybe it's best we don't see the old ones in Wild Rift. Our next honorable mention goes to one of the wackier sets released around the same time as Earth as April Fools. There's a lot of different skin styles like Draven Draven, definitely not Blitzcrank, and Earth Nami. Unfortunately, these skins ended up being a lot more fun to look at in the splash arts than in the game. With how high Wild Rift's quality is, it makes you realize that some of the cheaper skins in League won't fly here. Riot's already redone a bunch of skins like Queen Ash and Dread Knight Garen, and they look really good. But at what point should Riot invest in exclusive Wild Rift skins instead of porting over old skins? I'd rather see new ideas than polished old ones. So let's hope we only get the best of what League has to offer. And that's the end of our list of skins that we want to see from League of Legends. It's ridiculous picking out of the literal hundreds of skins in the game, but we had the time and wanted to choose the skins that at least have a good chance of making it into the game. That's it for the video, though. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, posture check. That's right. <laughs> Drink water, stay safe, and good luck on the rift. On the rift. On the rift is what I meant to say. We're keeping that. <laughs>